Hey folks, it's Rose here. Um, I just wanted to take another look at that storm that was developing and uh, creating the winter weather advisories for Texas. So I pulled Kyle with the page radar <coughs> up and uh, this is running. Uh, let's see what time we've got here. MTC. Uh, we'll play it. Too late at night for me to think this with the times. I'm going to slow it down because I want to point out some interesting signatures on this radar. This is the um, El Paso radar that I recorded earlier. And as you watch this and see these frequency lines in here, it's uh, rather interesting. And you'll notice that the whole section of radar will disappear at part of the loop right there oh, those. you also can see some frequencies in here in here all the way down here actually pretty large band of frequencies if I can let me see if I can zoom this even closer it'll probably get pixelated and then we may lose no doesn't get too bad. But again, bands here, bands here. And watch how this develops. And the frequencies are very obvious. It's not from the pixelation. <clears throat> I'll tell you that. It's also up here. I'll zoom back out. I suggest watching full screen because if you're not, you might not see this. That looks pretty obvious to me that there are frequency signatures in this radar and they become more and more obvious as the time goes by as the loop progresses. So what does that mean? Um, to be honest, I don't know. but it, uh, these frequencies, there's some more over here, just about of those. Wow, those are actually very strong. I'm going to pause for a moment while I go to another view. Okay, I brought this back out to the full um, US view, just to see if there was anything else going on. We have a lot of things lighting up in here that I don't really think that's contributing to what's going on with this storm down here and what's happening in Texas. I'm going to zoom. It's pretty much going to be the same picture, but we'll see a little bit more. A lot of view. <clears throat> you can't see the frequency bands quite so well here. We have some uh, beans coming out from the Gulf, which we uh, know there are radar, microwave radar stations out there. And I guess I've got much more to show you. It was really that I wanted to show the frequencies, signatures that were out there, very obvious. I will go to the next website for El Paso. The approach frequency is very physical here. Quite so visible here. Still, some very strange um, the way the air is moving or the precipitation is moving. Just checking the one. Okay, that was 
El Paso, which isn't even on the pop up now. Maybe it doesn't have it open. It could be one. Okay, here. Zona Vadosa. Wow. That's in the clear air mode. Hmm. That's in the clear air mode, folks. Oh, that's amazing. We pull this down to its uh, within my recording limit. So you can see this is Odessa. That is just unreal. This is enough precipitation. It's all clear air mode, picking up the frequencies and going through there. <clears throat> Then you can see the frequency waves. You just gotta watch for them. They're really very obvious once you're going to look for those signatures. In here. Exploding down into here. Coming up in here. Ah. Didn't expect that find. <clears throat> And now I'm looking at the uh, San Angelo, Texas radar. This one, it's even more obvious. These bands. Let me explain something. When you're seeing these bands, they're frequency bands. And the reason I say that they are is they're very parallel. And in a storm, yes, you can get parallel bands, but not like this. This one happens to be in precipitation mode, but uh, I recognize these. I recognize these from seeing them in the sky. Mm. So, I guess my whole point is, and this ended up way longer than I planned, but um, that storm, winter storm watch in uh, Texas, that winter storm being developed somehow using frequencies, and we see this in other parts of the world as well. The signatures are a little different, but they're there. Enjoy.